What up guys, it's KP coming in with a $400 computer budget build. So here, in this build, we will not be using a graphics card, but rather an APU unit. For this $400 budget build, an AMD A10 5800K will fit in just nicely. This is a monster of a processor for its price point. For $120, you can get a quad-core CPU that runs at 3.8 GHz and has a 4.2 GHz in turbo boost. Most importantly, it is unlockable in case you would like to get a better heatsink and later on overclock it. This next product on the list is the MSI AMD A55 Micro ATX motherboard. This motherboard is only $50 and let me tell you, it is worth every penny. The quality you can juice out of this piece of technology for the price is insane. As a very organized UEFI onboard BIOS where startup and overclocking is made easy. And as a very distinct yet basic color to contrast from other electronics on the board. In addition to that, it does have an HDMI output which will allow us to grasp the maximum detail our APU unit provides. For $50, you cannot go wrong here. Plus, you can actually add in a graphics card to crossfire with your APU later on to increase your performance. For the RAM, we will simply be using 2x4GB modules of Kingston HyperX, which costs about $70 and of course is 8GB. Now, you don't really uh, need Kingston HyperX. It doesn't really matter what brand you decide to get. Just make sure the brand is trustworthy and the memory you get is 1600 megahertz uh, because the RAM in this build is one of the most important parts. This is because our APU is strongly dependent on it. Remember, we don't have a GPU, so don't cheap out on this. For the case, I chose a Rosewell R519-BK Black Edition. This case comes with a power supply which supplements you for a good 500 watts. Yes, cases that come with power supplies are very notorious for being, well, bad, suckish, shitty. But I would not recommend this if it really was that bad. For $70, the case and power supply is on a bit more on the pricey side. But in my opinion, you still end up saving for the quality you get out of this. For our disk drive, we will be using a standard LG Electronics rewriter priced at $20. Nothing special to say about this product, so let's move on. The last item I'm going to mention here is the hard drive. The hard drive is a 1TB Western Digital Caviar Blue. If you don't know how to differentiate hard drive colors, black is fastest, loudest, and uses more power, green uses the least electricity, and is the quietest, lowest, and then blue is kind of like the intermediate uh, hard drive between the two in terms of performance, noise, and consumption. In all honesty though, it, the differences between the three is very neg negligible. It doesn't really matter which one you get, you're getting the same performance no matter, um, or at least of very similar performances. So that's about it. Um, yeah, if you liked the video, go ahead and give it a like. Leave some comments in the comment section below. Maybe you guys would like to add something onto this build, I don't know. And it's Kippy and I'm signing out. See you guys later. Stop killing each other. Stop polluting the earth. Stop raping the earth's natural resources and learn to live in harmony with each other and with nature.